Okay, so thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get monitor mode working with the TP-Link Wi-Fi wi network adapter. It's model WN722N, and I have version 3. Now, this might I think this might work with version 2. I'm not sure. And this is for Kali Linux 2021.2. That's the current version that it's on. Um, so it's the June, I think it was released June 2021. And it, by the time you watch this, it may be, you know, point dot three, and it may work with dot three. I don't know. Uh, please subscribe if you like tech videos related to web performance, security, WordPress, SEO, that kind of thing. Um, and then hit the like button if, if you find this video useful. So let's get started. So the first thing you got to do, well, this is in, oh, and this is for all, this is in VirtualBox. Now this probably applies to VMware. I haven't tested it, but it's probably something very similar. So the first thing you need to do is get your Kali installation up. The next thing you need to do is go to settings and go to USB. And you can see here this real tech. Well, I should, let me step back. What you need to do before that is to get the network call, the, uh, the Wi-Fi adapter, plug it in, go through the install on your Windows box. That's that. So you come here and then let's get rid of this. What you need to do is you need to add it to the virtual environment. So if you click on this, you'll see this Realtek NIC here. So I'm going to unplug it from my laptop. And you'll see if I click here, that's gone. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And we're going to add it. So what this does, obviously, is it makes this NIC available to the virtual environment. Click OK. And we're going to go ahead and click Start. And I'm going to pause it. Well, let me just make sure it starts up. Then I'm going to go ahead and pause it. Okay, so that's this is what the startup should look like, in case you didn't know. So I'm going to pause it, and I'll be back here shortly. Okay, so we have Kali running right here. Um, I'm going to put everything I talk about here, all the commands, in the description below, so you can grab them there. So anyway, so this this used to be really complicated. You had to do a, you had to do some compiling and a bunch of modules stuff. You don't really have to do that anymore. They make it a make it available, or they have made it available in a app an apt package. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I do, I like to use the root terminal emulator. So you can just click on this little down arrow and click this, and then enter your password. So now you don't have to you don't have to do sudo all the time. Let me make this bigger. To make your text bigger, it's control shift plus plus plus. You could also go into the settings and um, change the size. Um, let's let's do this. So the first thing I want to point out is you want to do one thing you can do is ls usb. This is a this is a command in Linux to see what USB devices you have connected. It thinks that are connected. So if you do this and you don't see the TP link adapter, it doesn't matter what you do. It's not going to work. Another command is called D-M-E-S-G. That's going to show you a lot of um, kernel messages. So what I like to do, and that's a this is really good if you're troubleshooting stuff. There is D-M-E-S-G-W. That keeps it live. So you're going to see you're going to see uh, error messages flow live. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to unplug the network adapter, and you're going to see USB disconnect, and I'm going to plug it back in. So you can see here, it it, it um, detected the network, the, the USB device, and it did something with it. So why I'm showing you this is if you plug it in and you don't see these, these messages being logged, then whatever you do is not going to work. So that's that. So the first thing you want to do is apt get update. Now, if you're not at the at the at a um, if you're not using a root shell prompt or a root shell console, whatever you want to call it, you got to you have to do sudo apt get. So that's why I like going to this this root terminal. Um, that I don't, so I don't have to type in sudo every time. So let's just do apt get update. So basically, you're up. You want to make sure your Kali installation has all the latest updates, packages, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And I'm going to pause it while it's working. Okay, we're back. So you can see it did the update here. Now, one th one other thing I want to point out is you'll notice if you go here and do ifconfig, which is the old um, internet command. It's been depreciated, but I, I'm, I'm that's what I'm used to. You could also do what is it? IP space adder space show. 
And why that's doing that, let me make this bigger. And for some reason, it's lagging a little bit. So I, I've noticed this. It might just be a bug between um, Kali and my laptop or something. That's something i got to figure out. So you can see here, when you do that, you have ETH0, which is your internal network adapter with this IP address. And this is the loopback adapter. But then you also, this is the wireless device, WLAN, WLAN0. So if you had a second Wi-Fi card, it would be WLAN1. So... What you want to make sure you do is once you get this, your wireless card configured, you want to, um, whoops, you want to down this, this device, which is your internal, like your physical network adapter inside your computer, because how do you know if your traffic's going over this or over this? Now you could set up routes and all that, but it, the easiest thing is just to down it and we'll, we'll go over that. So we did that. Now the next thing you need to do, it read all the packages and I did, it did an update. So that's just um, that doesn't actually upgrade anything. So what you need to do now is apt get upgrade. Now this is going to take a long time. So I'm going to do this. These are all the packages that are going to be updated. So I'm going to just hit enter. And this is probably, this is going to take a few minutes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it. Okay. So this has been going on about five minutes. I just want to kind of, this is what you'll, this is what you should expect to see. It's unpacking a bunch of stuff. Then it's well, preparing, then unpacking. Then after this, it's actually going to go and install all of these updates. Another thing I want to show you real quick, I mentioned ifconfig before. So this was the command that Unix, Linux, etc. used for, I guess, I would think it would be decades. I mean, as long as I, I started doing Linux back in the late 90s. And this is how you show ETH0, which is the, we went over that, that's the internal network adapter, loopback adapter, and then WLAN0. This command has been depreciated, but I mean, I, so eventually it's going to go away. Most people who have been using Linux for a long time, this is what they know, so we type it out of habit. I'm still getting in the habit of typing the new command. So this is IP adder show. This is the new way to do this. So it looks like um, most of the anything, or I, I, and I'm no expert with the IP command, because like I said, I'm still using this, because that's what I'm used to. But you can do, a, you can manage a lot of the networking stuff with the IP command. So this is what... IP adder show, so you can see here now, loopback adapter, ETH0 with the IP address, and WLAN0, right? Another thing that I did for years to bring device, to bring the interfaces up and down would be if config WLAN0 down. So that's going to bring down the wireless interface. So then you could do IF config, and you can see it, it lists ETH0 loopback, but not WLAN1. Then if you did up, you can see it's up again. So now, now you do it by using like IP link set WLAN zero down, whatever. So I just wanted to show you that why this is going on. So I'm going to pause it, wait for this to finish. Um, you can see here now it's doing setup. So it unpacked. Now it's doing the setup in the install. So I'm going to pause it and return shortly. Okay, so we're back and that finished up. Now, all in all, it took I think about ten minutes. So the next thing you want to do is update the actual the actual distribution. So it's apt get dist upgrade. Now again, if you're not at a root terminal, you have to do sudo, right? Sudo basically gives a non-root or administrator, whatever you want to call it, account the ability to run root um, uh, commands that require root permissions um, just by if, if they're given uh, access to do so. And they got to enter the password and validate and all that stuff, but that's what that is. Anyway, so dist upgrade, hit enter, and this is going to look and see if there's any actual core updates to the Kali distribution. Um, and click yes, and this is going to do its thing, and we're going to pause it. This doesn't take as long. This might take two or three minutes. We're going to pause it, and we'll be right back. So that finished up. It took about five minutes. So the next thing to do is just reboot. I just use the init six command. You can do however you want to. Now, some people you probably don't even have to reboot, but I, I've seen it to where rebooting does, okay, must clear things up or something. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to init six. I'm going to let it reboot and I'm going to pause it while that happens and we'll be right back. Okay. So we re, we've rebooted. So what I want to show you now is if, if you type IW config, so it's not IF config. This is, you know, for Wi-Fi stuff, IW config. You can see WLAN 0. See how it's laggy for my system? It's, uh, for some reason, I'm not sure why, but I'll, I, you know, I will figure that out. 
And it's not always like this. Just for some reason right now, it's the next time I type iwconfig, it won't be laggy. So I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, so you can see here, the part, we're in, I mean, all this stuff is informative. What we're interested in right now is it says mode managed, right? So we need to get that changed. So the next thing to do is, now you can do what I'm going to show you next from command line. I'm going to send, put this URL into the description below, um, basically to connect to your Wi-Fi network here. This is how to do what I'm about to show you from command line, because a lot of times you just SSH into the box and you don't have access to the um, to the to the to the the actual desktop itself, right? So what I'm going to show you now is the way to do it through the GUI. You can do it through the command line as well. Let's go ahead and do that. So let me check my notes. So right here, this icon, this box. If you click on this, this is what's going to display your Wi-Fi networks. Now, the first time you click it, or at least it is for me. It takes a while to pop up. Now, that might be just because my system's bugged out right now. I don't know. So you click this, then go to the network you want to go to, the Wi-Fi network you want to go to. And you can see here it's spinning and looking. Um, so again, this is taking a while. It should be pretty quick. So let me pause it why this is loading, because it shouldn't take this long. Okay, it finally popped up. So we're going to go ahead and put in the password. going to connect and you can see up here it's spinning so let's let this connect again to make this font bigger it's control shift plus what I what I'm going to do I'm going to use the old IF config again you could use IP add or show okay I'm looking to see if it's getting an IP address um, so you can see here, ETH0 has an IP address. So it did get an IP address, right? So the next thing I do to make sure I'm using the Wi-Fi adapter for my communications, and th there's, there's ways to configure this, but d for this scenario, it's the easiest thing to do, is you want to bring ETH0 down. So using the old command, again, it's if config ETH0 down, down, using the new Command it's IP link set ETH0 down. So they do the exact same thing. So then do IF config again. And you can see all you have is a loop back adapter and WLAN0. The next step is now we need to go go ahead and we need to get the driver, which is already prepackaged. This is the part that makes it a lot easier than it used to be. Before you had to do you know make, make install, compile a lot of code, and hopefully it worked insert modules, all this kind of crazy stuff. You don't got to do that anymore. So apt, cache, search, and again, if you're not using the root terminal, you got to do sudo apt cache search, and I have it written down here, rtl818. Let's see if that pops up. I might have to do some grepping and stuff. It's this one right here. So you want to copy that. And remember, if we do iwconfig, it shows managed, right? So now we want to do apt get. It's, just, it's based, apt is just a command line package, uh, command line package manager. And then we're going to paste it, control shift V or right click paste. And we're going to let it do its thing. So it's going, to ha it's going to install headers and a few other things. So click, hit enter for yes, or type Y, enter. And while that's going, we're going to pause it. And this takes a couple minutes, and we'll be back. Okay, so that finished up. So the next thing you want to do is IW dev and see if it shows up. And if it, if it hangs like this, it's likely not going to show up, which mine isn't. So the easiest thing to do is control, well, sometimes control C won't even work. Go to another tab and reboot. Um, so I'm going to do that, and I will pause it and be back shortly. Okay, so we are back. After I restarted, it wanted me to log back in to my Wi-Fi network, which I did. So if we do IF config, you can see we have an IP address for, for WLAN 0, 
and eth0 came back up, so we're going to if down, which is another way to do it, eth, if down eth0, whoops, if config eth, that's strange, okay, um, let's do if config and make sure it's down, which it is. Again, we want all traffic to go over WLAN0, which is the Wi-Fi card. Now, if we go to iwconfig, we'll still see that it's in manage mode. So we want to now, what we need to do now is we want to get it from manage mode to monitor mode. So we want to, if config or IP link, whatever you want to do, WLAN zero down. Oh, I didn't show you this. I, IW dev. So you can see now it's showing up, right? Um, so now the Wi-Fi network is showing up with IW dev. So where was I? Did I bring it down? Okay, so if config wlan0 down. So we'll now see the only thing that's up is our loopback adapter. Now we want to do iw LAN, wlan0 set. I think it's monitor control. I think that's right. Okay. Then we want to, you can hit, hit your up arrow. It'll go back through your previous commands. So I just do up a couple times, then remove, down, and do up. Then we're going to do, hopefully it'll show up now. Now we'll do iwconfig, and it says now that it's in monitor mode, and you're good to go. So if you found this useful, please, please, please hit that like. If you like technical videos on security, performance, WordPress, SEO, that kind of stuff, hit subscribe. And if there's anything you want me to do a video on, let me know, and I'd be happy to do it. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.